Oh my god, I used to get smacked with a bigger one like because it would have like a. Well, would, you get a bigger ass, ass than me? Yeah, oh my god, Josh. bigger ass? What? How many squats? You don't. You hit me, my father will sue you. Hey, welcome to Mythical Kitchen where dreams become food, and please welcome friend of the show, Courtney Miller. Courtney, there she is, sick of handshake. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Ah. That's my handshake. That was pretty good. Uh, Courtney, we're making Sloppy Joe's today. Yes! Yeah, can you tell the folks a little bit about yes. your relationship to Sloppy Joe's and how you like to slop on that slop? I love to slop on that Joe, guys. Um, I love Sloppy Joe's, grew up eating them all the time, but also there's a little bit of a backstory on this because like you guys were like, hey, can we make a video together? And I was like, actually, yeah, if you could, uh, if you guys could make me a Sloppy Joe because one day, Trevor, you know, Trevor E. Farts on Twitter. He has a great podcast, listen to his yeah. podcast. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he saw me in the parking lot having a bad day, you know, and then he offered me like, hey, just cheer you up, like I'd love to make you something sometime. And I was like, could you maybe make me Sloppy Joe maybe? And he was like, yeah, one day I will do it. And like, we're just so busy here at Mythical LLC. Uh, and yeah, it's, it's so it just it, it never happened. But today it's finally happening. But where's Trevor? What? Trevor couldn't be here right now. Trevor was bad, so we put him in the bad place. <sighs> Makes sense. But I'm very excited. I'm very excited for Sloppy Joe's today, and I heard you had like a little bit of a surprise for me. Too. Oh, we got a little bit of a surprise, Courtney. We're doing not one, not three, but two, two different. We're making two slot because we're making one like normal OG Sloppy Joe. Classic. Yeah, give you the bones, and then we're making not like bones like in the Sloppy Joe, like the bones of a recipe to improve your like, cause we like to add value to people's lives here at Mythical Kitchen. And then you also like ramen. I see you making your ramen hacks yes, all the time. So we're also kid. doing a ramen inspired sloppy joke, folks. This is gonna be absolutely incredible. Yes! In the house. We got Trevor in the bad place. And then let's see if we can make Courtney have another bad day. So she wants more food in the parking lot. Why is he, why is he having a bad day? Uh, you know, people just, we just be having bad days. <laughs> you know, we, we go through a lot of highs here and then a lot of lows. Uh, lows. A lot you gotta of have the lows to enjoy the highs. So it's yeah. all good. And Whenever there's food involved, I'm instantly feeling better. Yeah, but then the food's gone and then you go right back down. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get cooking. Yeah. Dude, I used to get smacked with this as a kid when I was little. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, I used to get smacked with a bigger one, like because it would have like a. Well, would, you get a bigger ass, ass than me? Yeah, oh my god, Josh. bigger ass? What? How many squats you don't. You hit me, my father will sue you. My ass is bigger than No, your my ass. ass is bigger than My ass is assier than. Hey, welcome back to the very normal cooking show where we're cooking Sloppy Joe's. Yeah. That's like a very normal cooking show thing to do. Normally, mm. uh, we'd put like Doritos in it or like a bunch of Porlo or, like or something. Buds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but no, Sloppy Joe. Courtney, do you want to chop up? We got two bell peppers and onion and some garlic and we got beef. And then I'm just, I'm just going to name all of them. We got vinegar, we got sugar, we got Worcestershire, we got tomato paste, uh, we got a little jar. This? Worcestershire, how do you pronounce okay, it? Okay, I don't know, you just said it really fast, so I was like, is it trying to blow, blow over that? Because I call Definitely. it Worcestershire. Worcestershire, it is the longest running Guy Fieri yeah. bit in the Guy Fieri Cinematic Universe, he calls it Washing that. machine. Washing machine, we're gonna add that to this. You wanna start chopping some vegetables? Yeah. I'm gonna throw this beef in a pan. How do I chop them, like, do them diced or sliced? Dice, I think like a fine dice. What's fine your dice. platonic ideal of Sloppy Joe? <sighs> I, like ideal Sloppy Joe? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Stale burger buns. Good. We we got them air drying over there. Nice. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. Um, I don't know. Like I just like basically, I'm pretty sure I just had it straight out of the can. Manwich. 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 It's not bro. for women. We gender our loose meat sandwiches around here. I've added some uh, black pepper, paprika, and salt to the beef. I'm gonna chop it up. Gordon, you're doing great. That is like the. Oh, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can I, can I, can I show you some? Can I show you okay. some? Can I show you some? So uh, what are you doing? That's good. That's a good first cool. move. Also, hat. Rachel Ray trash. Good ball. hat. And then you do that, and we can keep that. And then what I would Ooh, do? Little butt. I would take that. That's a U butt. That's my three butt. butt. I have butt. three butt cheeks. Did you know? Yeah, yeah. Some people like in um, what's that movie? Uh, Total Recall. She got three boobies. Yeah, yeah I got three butt cheeks also. Oh, so so that's slice it down you. there, and then oh. you can unravel it, and then you take yeah. the knife, and then you shave it across like that. I don't know why I'm like so gentle with vegetables, even though I'm literally about to obliterate them with a blade. Yeah, yeah, and then you can do this, and then you got a nice long strip, so you can go like chop, 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 chop. Yeah, you got okay. that? Yeah, All right, yeah, cool, yeah. I'm gonna mash at this beef. You mash that beef, bro. I'm sure you do that every day. What? It's unhealthy if you don't. True. It is, I'm just saying, no, like we, right. we need to, I think, it, well, hey, no, this is getting into weird territory, but I think we should, it's fine. I think you should teach it in schools. Everybody treat your meat, beefs and meats well. I just think we need to normalize it and teach it I'm in schools. Wait, I'm talking about sandwiches. Think, what are you talking about? What? Masturbation. Oh, maybe. My brother told you that you, you tugged on your balls, and so... <laughs> 
and I'm gonna not cook so what we can cut around this. For? And so literally, I'm there just yanking at my. That's hilarious. My hang, hangle bangles down there. Just like nothing's <laughs> happening. And yeah, and I thought there was something wrong with me, and because no teacher ever told me. Courtney, where are you from? You give off strong Utah vibes. Oh, that sucks. Uh, no, I just don't kidding. Think so. I, I, I have a lot of family in Utah, but yeah, I'm see? actually from California. Wait, where? Uh, you have a strong Agora vibes. Yeah. I love that. And Sloppy Joes are native to the California Valley region. They, they grow next to the succulents. Oh my gosh, Sloppy Joes do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, uh -huh. I wish I had that instead of canned ones. Ooh, speaking of how dumb I was when I was a kid, I thought ground beef grew from the ground until I was like 10. <laughs> no one teaches you these things. Is this finally chopped enough or does it need to be like way smaller? No, that's pretty good, that's pretty good. The good thing about a Sloppy Joe is nothing matters. And the good thing about life is that- sloppy. nothing matters. You're sloppy and we're all just gonna exist in non-eternity for forever. You know, like it's just gonna happen. And so I think just throw them in like that. That's okay. good, do you wanna like, but I need to put the, the, the green ones well, yeah, too. Yeah, but you can just add everything. Am I sloppy Joe's? It's very forgiving. Make the sloppy Joe Yee. your canvas. You're an artist. Yee. There it is. That's all. It's proper technique. Okay, that's all you want. Anybody want a snack? What are you gonna do with the butt? I like to dip this in hummus. That's good. I've actually tried, I think I've tried that in mustard. It's nice. Are you gonna make a sandwich with it? Like uh -huh. those a-holes on TikTok? They're like, I'm low carb and it's like, yeah. Sucks. People make sandwiches out of those, and I'm like, I don't even know freaking what's happening with Be that. Honest, but Get it actually sounds very crisp and nice, because I like a crisp sandwich. I, I, I don't know. Look at this, so cool. Like, I, lots of lettuce, fresh, uh, like, roast turkey, not toasting the bread. Um, Untoasted bread is key for Sloppy Joe. You gotta microwave it. Microwave? Nicole's laughing at me because I told her that I toast my sloppy Joe buns. She's, she's like, you shouldn't. And I'm like, you're right. Wow. And so the, key, the point is I'm willing to learn. So that's a good thing. You Thank know? you. I'm, you're willing, I live Do you want to learn another fun just... trick? What? Like it's the finger trick. I'm the finger scared. Trick. When, no, it's good. You should be scared doing what you're doing. Because <laughs> you're like here, right? Ah! You know, you're doing that. You tuck your fingers oh, in the claw. Tuck your yeah. fingers in the claw and then you can do, do one of them bad boys. It's safe. It's good because here in the middle of the kitchen we practice safety in the kitchen. Except for when we don't. I feel like a gorilla. Sloppy <laughs> Joe. Do you guys remember when we captured a gorilla and then put it in captivity and taught it about death and then it got depressed? But then we gave it a kitten, so it was okay. <laughs> we gave it a cat to say sorry yeah. for making you confront sorry your mortality. Sorry we made you literally feel existential dread. Here's a kitten. We made it racist too. Coco hated other gorillas and was like, no, gorilla's ugly, I'm human, beautiful. And it's like, oh no, oh, Coco. Oh no, it happens, oh, hey, God. everyone is ingrained with it at some point, you know? Okay, should I put a little bit of Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drop some of that in there. Am I taking too long? Yeah. But only like, if I'm being honest, if I were to lie to you, I would say no, this okay, is great. I, okay, 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 I'll, I'll do the onion, I'll do, I'll do the garlic. Courtney, go stir that meat. Okay. Go stir that meat. Um, I make tacos a lot. Oh. Um, and I use impossible beef. Oh. Which I'm gonna, like, turn the you heat know what, down impossible so we're not beef's good. No, 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 turn it up, turn it up. If it ever gets too high, just dump in all the liquid uh, on it. But yeah, I like to make my own taco shells by like taking tortillas and, Frying them in the oil, and so yeah, I do a lot of taco nights. You make uh, 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 WPTs. White people taco White night. White people taco night. Listen, we grew up with it. We didn't know. No one taught us. No one no taught one us taught how us to pull our better. beef or whatever. No one taught no. us, you know, about taxes. What the hell are those? Got to do that soon. Taco, Makes me want to throw up. I will say. <laughs> I will say. You wow, you're very fast. Thank you. I didn't even get to catch that happening. Do you want to palm heel strike some garlic? This is the most important cooking technique. Oh, you palm them? So a lot of people think that you the should use your knife, knife yeah. but that's weird, because then you're just like hitting a knife. Why not just like smash it like that? Well, but then because we've gotten... not everybody's strong like you. you no, know, it's strong as a mindset, Courtney, and then also a series of statistics based on your big three power lifts and two Olympic lifts. You're from but Utah. But packaged taco seasoning, really, it slaps. No, no, use the packaged taco seasoning? I do, oh. I, I don't I, I don't even wanna try and beat that. <laughs> it's just so good. Sometimes you just let let people be good at what they do. and. That's fair. I say no to packaged taco seasoning as I'm just squirting ketchup and beef. There's no ketchup in the ketchup. <laughs> hold on, hold on. There's no ketchup. This is, there it is. Oh. There it is. All right, I got a little vinegar for acid. Ooh. A little bit of sugar, because you're gonna want Sloppy Joe's to be nice and sweet. Sweet! A little bit of what? Washing machine. A little bit of washing Washer machine sauce. Washing machine. Um, a little bit of stock. And we're just gonna stir that around. 
We're gonna let it get nice and sloppy. We're gonna score some of that in there. I don't know what that is. And that's gonna be good. Uh, olive oil or something? Or death? Both. We talk sloppy Joe buns shouldn't be toasted. Nicole taught me that eight minutes ago, and I agree with it. And so what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna wrap it in wet paper towels like a crunch wrap, and I'm gonna pop this in the microwave for 18 seconds. It'll steam the buns. Courtney, give me 18 seconds. Time me. <clears throat> 18, 17, 16, like that? Yeah, do you think there's any like carcinogens from microwave and paper towel? What's carcinogens? So we got wet buns. Wet buns. Yeah, yeah I feel how wet that bun is. Wow, nice, so right? moist. Slop up, slop up the buns. Should and I turn then, it off? Yeah, this is gonna be molten. This is gonna destroy our mouths. You're never gonna wear that I'm Invisalign so, again. I like might not even let you eat that one because I want to eat both of these. This is like not even a bit. I didn't eat breakfast. Neither did I. But also I'm afraid of confrontation, so I'll just let you do it. Do you want to try some, because this is hot mustard on Sloppy Joe is one of my favorite things. Can I have it, like I dip it? Yeah. Thanks, because yeah, yeah. I, I want to taste what you guys made. And then the mustard, you guys didn't make that. But we didn't make it. This no, other guy's made yeah, that. Yeah, Heinz. Heinz. They have German. Wait, which side are they on? All right. Wait, wait, hold on. What I do is I take my sloppy joke because the bottom bun is going to get a lot more stress on it. Oh, because it's so I, here? Yeah, and so I flip it and I let that rest for about 15, 30 seconds. Pick this up. Let me know if this isn't the sloppiest Joseph you ever had. Because oh, this is wet. She wet? Yeah, yeah, she is wet. Let's do it. Mmm. <gasps> Oh, oh, it's so hot. Oh my god. It's so right. hot. I'm dipping in mustard right now. Uh-oh, uh-oh. This is so good. You feel like you've been empowered to, mm. to eat sloppy joes? I'm about to get sloppy on this joe, man. Oh, I've been sloppy on this joe. The mustard I, is good with it. I've never done that. It cuts it a little bit. I might even go crazy and put a little bit of raw onion on my sloppy joes. Mmm. It's a little weird. What I like Texture. to do, if it gets too sloppy around the mouth, you use the bread to wipe my mouth. <laughs> and then you don't lose any flavor. And then you don't miss anything. Yeah, I keep a slice of bread to use as a napkin next to me when I eat. Well, they told you, Queen, that we have not two more, but one more sloppy joe to make that uses what something I know about you, which is that you eat ramen to make it. Are you actually using that footage of him trying to say that? You want to cook some pork? Yes. All right, cool. So we're, we're making a... Uh, I'm calling it like a ramen inspired sloppy joe because we're using the flavors that you might find in ramen. We got like the nori and the sesame and the furikake right there. <laughs> really delicious flavor. Do you mess with furikake? I love furikake. I put that on my ramen. Hell yeah. That well, we're sense. putting in the sloppy joes. Look at how we did it. We're doing it, everybody. God dang, this is wholesome. Uh, and then togarashi. <laughs> togarashi is a seven spice blend with dried orange peel and chili to make it a little spicy. And then we got mirin, we got sake, we got red miso, shiitake mushroom, scallion ginger. It's going to be dankity dank. Do you want to cook that ground pork? We're using pork. You eat pork? I eat pork, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, you never, you did not check with me. But we don't I, check with any, we don't have food allergies. No, we just go, we just go. We, we all right. just go. So I'm gonna chop up some shiitake mushrooms right here. Yeah, yeah, just dump it in there and then start mashing start around. Mashing I like around. a really fine grain. Okay, you got it. That's so fine. I'm gonna chop up the shiitakes really fine. Just kind of uh, 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 hit them with that. You're very good at that, bro. What? No, stop. Have you ever good chopped up a body? No, but I feel like I, I feel like I would know how to break down a human body because I'm, um, you know, butchering a chicken. Every chef knows how to do. But you really just find the joints, you crack through them, and then it becomes pretty evident where you're supposed to make the cuts. All right, well now I know who to call. Have you seen Yellow Jackets? Oh no, but I'd like to. Dude, very good. And and RuPaul's Drag Race, of course. Yeah, are you watching uh, All Stars? You watch or the was it UK versus the World? I actually haven't watched any of the UK yet. I have watched every single episode of RuPaul's Drag Race except for uh, UK. What would your was, drag name be? My drag name? I don't know. I feel like. I have this character on our on our sketch channel and our other channels called Brianna Boho, but I also have a drag king persona that's Dominic Patron, who he's that guy. Oh, is that a slice of pineapple? Yeah, oh, it's, ginger? No, it's, it's ginger. I didn't have anything to grate it with, so I just threw it in there. Okay. Yeah, you want to chop it harder? I just, wait, hold on. No. I'm trying to get the ginger out. I'm trying to get. Hold on. Let me grate this ginger, dude. Okay. Hold for sound. Wait, can you move real quick? Yeah. Wait, yeah. where is it? Go, 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 go! Trevor! Ah! Got it! Just like perfectly grates your ass. And... <laughs> <laughs> My ass is perfectly grated enough. So we're gonna add some red miso in there. That's gonna add a lot of that romany flavor. That's like that fermented yeah. soybean. We're gonna use the ginger's little tool. I love that. To get that's that out. Waste. No, we don't waste. And then, oh. for Akaki Toburashi. Mirin for sweetness. And then, more sugar. And then stock. Yes. All right. Of course, stir that around, chop it up, keep chopping that for about 15 minutes. I'm gonna go hang out over here. This smells incredible. 
I could be a drag king. I think I might do that. Josh Bassler ah! Wench! Thank you. Oh, here's the thing. This is clear and so I didn't see it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it should go in there because this is sake and it's nice because you get sake in the base of some ramen broth so we put that in the tare that you add to it. And so now we're doing it. And now, and now after uh, Dominic, what's his name? Oh, Dominic Toretto. After Dominic Toretto <laughs> chops up the beef more, the pork, which is made of pig. It's like beef, but pig. Will be done. Beef but pig. We got a ramen inspired sloppy joes. You ready? I'm so ready. I'm ready too. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Take those eggs out. Yeah. We got some like marinated ramen eggs. Just kind of just grab it, and then you kind of like kind of shake off the moisture a little bit. Deep, deep, yeah, there you go. And then cut that in half. My plan on this is we're gonna take some of this delicious ground pork, red miso sloppy joe mixture, and we're gonna put a little base on, and then we're gonna take half of a hard boiled egg and just shove it in the middle, and then we're gonna pack meat around the egg. I'm so freaking excited, I dude. I think that's pretty exciting. And Dude, I've never nice made a seasoned egg. I've there. always wanted to make a, a oh, seasoned Oh, they're actually egg. really great and like pretty easy to do. Yeah, you just kind of soft boil them and then put them in soy sauce soy and Soy, sugar, right? mirin, all the good stuff. And then it's gonna kind of like, the egg's gonna kind of warm up from this beef. Warm this makes this makes beef. me really excited. Warm up from the beef. This warm is not beef. beef. I know, well, no, beef's just a, beef's a figure of speech. Like kind of, like not according to the FDA. All right, all right, you, you down with the scallions? <laughs> Let's do little scallions. And I do the sesame yeah, seeds? Yeah, do the sesame seeds, do the sesame seeds. You got a little toast of sesame, the scallion. There it is, there it is. You know that guy's restaurant gets like sued every month? Because he's <laughs> like, he's like charging people $1,500 for a steak and no one tells him it costs that much. Then they like call the police and the people say, like, what do you want us to do? And like, well, they wouldn't pay their bill. And like, stop charging $1,500 for a steak, you weirdo. Yeah, is it because of like, because he's Salt Bay that they're so expensive? Like, Yeah, it doesn't cost, it doesn't cost. He puts like $8 worth of gold flake on it. Salt Bay, stop doing what you're doing. He says some weird stuff about sex too. Who doesn't? Who doesn't? We yeah, we talked a lot about <sighs> spanking beef or whatever. Whee! Yeah, this is pork. There it is. All right, and <laughs> then wait, 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 wait for it, wait for it. There we have it, Courtney. We have made not one, not three, not four, but two. Two sloppy joes today. One kind of like normal, like man witchy, and then one inspired by ramen, which is Courtney's favorite food, other than sloppy joes, and also all the other foods that she loves. All right, Courtney, holy crap, we got our ramen inspired sloppy joe. You ready, you ready to do it? I don't think you understand how ready I am for this. I'm thing. so excited, wait, flip it. Just flip it and give it like a little punch, but the egg did a nice job of kind of cooling it down. I'm gonna try and get to the egg in the center in one bite. That's very important to me that I do this. I'm gonna try two. Yeah? Mm-hmm. All right. Ready, three, three two, two, one. I ate the whole egg. Oh no, this one's left, this one's left. Oh my God. Ah, oh, oh, Kelly Clarkson. It's everything good about ramen, like, Sorry. And you're definitely keeping the sloppy and sloppy Joe. No, I don't know what I'm doing. I have to make some cooking soon too. I'm so into this. Huh? And do you? It's pretty easy, right? It's just as easy as the other one we did. Yeah. But more funner. And that's the magic of cooking. Do you feel like you experience the magic of cooking? Oh, 100 yeah. percent. Like I feel like I've ascended. You're on a different astral plane. You're like one of those people that buys crystals and like um. Uh yeah, except for instead of crystals, it's salt rocks. Yeah. Wait, really? Wait, not. But not like the kind that they put like on a lamp. It's like salt to like cook with. I was trying to make a cooking, cooking like oh, joke. Oh. You can try it again. Yeah, but instead of crystals, I bring home spices. That's another. That's cooking. Let's do it one more time. <laughs> Give them one more out. Yeah, except we're buying crystals. Instead of buying rose quartz, I buy salt. <laughs> Cooking, got him. Uh, Courtney, thank you so much for joining me. This is really fun. Um, next time, Trevor can get out of the bad place that we locked him in a closet. We'll hang out. We'll hang out. Um, we'll, you'll hang out. Well, I'm gonna pack this up so I can take it home. No, we need to still shoot thumbnails, and so. And by that time, it'll have been at room temp for about four hours, so it's not food safe so it's anymore. it's dangerous. You know the only time I got food poisoning here was from a Smosh burrito? There were breakfast burritos? There were, hold on, this is a real quick story. There were breakfast burritos out there, and like one of the PAs for Smosh was like, hey, do you want a breakfast burrito? And I was like, sure. How long have they like been out? And they are like, I don't know, not too long. And then I did the math, and it turns out they were sitting out for about five and a half hours, and V and I got for like food poisoning. All right, thank you all so much for stopping by the Mythical Kitchen. Courtney, where can they find you? Oh, please go check out Smosh. Smosh is doing all kinds of really fun stuff on their Smosh main channel, Smosh Pit, Smosh Games, and if you wanna follow me on Instagram and Twitter, I'm at Colmill. Yeah, both really great content, a lot of ramen pictures. Also, find us on Instagram, at Mythical Kitchen, and on TikTok. Tag us under hashtag Dream Swim Food, just like Courtney O'Keefe did when she made hibasage bites. Different Courtney, Don't, not everything's about you. And her toddlers started, <laughs> started chanting hibasage, which apparently a lot of toddlers started chanting hibasage after that video. 
So I'm sorry for turning your little children into many vocal terrorists around your own home, but I'm also not. See you next time. Oh no, I use the bread, I use the bread, I use the bread. Just let me do, let me be myself. <laughs> you sloppy son of a biscuit, get as messy as you want in your own kitchen when you have the Mythical Kitchen Towels. Available now at mythical.com.